morning I want to talk about wine and food pairing. And maybe wine and food pairing for the holidays would be a good topic also. There's different wines that are meant to go with different types of foods. And when you come to Wine Premier, one of the first questions that we'll ask you, if you say, hey, can you help me pick out a bottle of wine for this? The first question we're gonna ask you is, well, how are you preparing it? What spices are you using? Because that really is the key to the type of wine that you're going to pair with the food. Like for example, if you came in and said, I'm gonna have you know, chicken on the grill, and we say, okay, great. You know, maybe you want a nice buttery Chardonnay, or maybe you want a Sauvignon Blanc, but when you tell me that it's barbecued chicken on the grill, I might point you more towards something fun like a red Zinfandel, something that can handle the spice of the barbecue sauce. I picked a selection of wines that we can talk about why you might pick this wine to go with different kinds of food. The Gewürztraminer and Riesling are really two wines that can handle the salt that you might have in ham or you know foods like that, maybe salt to your sides that you'd have for the holidays. And the reason for it is that they're built with their acid level and the sugar content. Just the structure of these wines will complement the salt, not fight it like a lot of wines. Salt is a tough one when it comes to wine and food pairing. And then I have a Chardonnay. This is a nice buttery, creamy Chardonnay. When I picture this going with it, some nice creamy cheeses, maybe some aged cheddars, um, people coming in the door, you have a nice fantastic fruit platter, that type of thing. And, and also leading into things like chicken, Alfredo sauces, creamier type foods. This is um, an ice vine, and it is actually a wine that is made from grapes that are actually picked when they're frozen on the vine. They pick them at two in the morning, they ferment them while they're frozen, and it's a very luxurious kind of apricot peach. It's very thick um, and creamy, and, it, and just fantastic. It's just like liquid gold. This is something that you would serve with just a fabulous platter of hard and creamy cheeses of whole variety. Maybe some fruit on the plate, some kiwi and strawberries and that type of thing would be fantastic. Then for the reds, you don't have to pair you know, white with chicken and red with you know, heavy meats. That's just not really the case anymore. So I look more at the seasonings. Obviously, when you're serving a Chianti, there's no problem pairing that with lasagnas and red sauces and um, just real beefy, um, nice Italian meals. But when you get into things that are a little bit heavier spiced, Plunger Head Zinfandel or Freak Show Cab, which has really got a cool label. But these two wines are wines that are meant for really robust steak on the grill, barbecue sauces, um, just really heavy, rich kind of comfort foods, stews, that type of thing with a lot of spices. That's what these are built for. So all of these wines are built for a different kind of food and it's really important that you kind of pair different foods with different wines because it will make the food taste different. And one other key is whenever you can add a little bit of the wine into the sauce or into the seasoning, when you're making it the same wine that you're going to serve, it just kind of marries those flavors right together where you know you're going to have a hit because you're going to bring that flavor from the wine all the way through to the food and it's just an incredible experience. So if you have menus where you're looking to come up with the right wine, hey, give us a call or stop in and we'd be happy to tell you the kinds of wines we recommend and then why, and, and you'll just really find this experience incredible.